Well, Kurt and I are uh, loading up on some carbs before we hit the trail here in Sussex, uh, at the uh, Mountain View Lodge. We're gonna have a little breakfast here of, uh, we've got some eggs and uh, some home fries with uh, garlic and also uh, some freshly squeezed mango juice, which may come back and bite us, I'm not sure, but we've been taking risks so far this trip, so we'll have it tastes good. <laughs> yeah, it tastes good. We're on our way along the trail. Got some uh, pretty amazing uh, vistas here on our way through uh, jams that you can kind of see. Well, uh, Kurt and I have managed to uh, wander our way onto the set of a Clint Eastwood Spaghetti Western movie. And any minute now, we're going to be greeted by a bunch of uh, banditos. All these uh, villages in December are burning wood fires and it seems to collect in the uh, valley. And you can smell it in the air and it kind of uh, obscures the view a little bit. You can see we've got a mountain. Here would be a great view, but it's uh, kind of all hazed out. We're hoping once we get above the, uh, the valley, it will uh, open up a bit more so we can really admire the scenery. <laughs> Namaste. So uh, Kurt and I are this little uh, restaurant. I think it's just a little bit outside of Ubele. We're halfway to our destination of uh, Andra. And we're having uh, garlic. Look at this. Garlic soup. <laughs> and uh, what do you think, Kurt? How's it taste? Garlic soup. Garlic soup. Broth. Does it taste good? I don't see like this. She would? Yeah. Well, she eats this broth, right? Should we bring some home to her? <laughs> It'll bring home some garlic soup with us. There's, no, there's nothing in it at all, just broth. But it's uh, a, a local uh, remedy for uh, high altitude sickness. So Kurt and I will be drinking this and uh, taking it as a precaution against the ill effects of high altitude. It's our end of first day, and I am like soaking in sweat. And uh, we made about, I think, halfway to where, uh, where I plan to be. So uh, definitely going to need to adjust the uh, timeline on our trip. I think our packs might be kind of heavy. I'm feeling kind of beat. What do you think, Kurt? You gonna make it? Two months. <laughs> we take two months. If we just do one village a day, <laughs> walk the village and we'll camp. Well, um, some pretty short days, and so some of those villages are probably right next to each other. Yeah, that'd be nice. Yeah, I am freaking beat. I'm hoping tomorrow I feel a little bit better. I'm also hoping that once we get it into the higher altitudes, it gets cooler. It'll be easier with it being colder because it's down here in the subtropics, it's just... 
nice uh, accommodations that we're staying in. Got a flower garden here out front. You can see those are like the toilets, clearly marked. Then we have uh, a footbridge. Goes over the, uh, it's called the Gahandi River glacier water. And uh, we're in uh, Bubalo and about an hour after Lubele is uh, Nagdi, I think. And uh, I think that's the trail up there. Let's see if I'm coming up the road. And then uh, once, you, once we get to Nagdi, it's like an hour and 45 minutes up a very steep incline. To, uh, How you feeling there, buddy? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it was, uh, I think it might have been the mango juice. Kurt's uh, got the runs, but we've given him some Cipro and some Ammonium, and hopefully it clears it up. And we just took off, uh, we, we changed rooms because our last room was infested with bed bugs, which means that our luggage, we have to assume that our luggage is now uh, infested with bed bugs. So I'll have to call Tasha and arrange for uh, her to pick us up from the airport naked. Yeah, this trip keeps getting more interesting each day.